Hey everybody, Jeff Reinhardt here with you. How you doing? LL League football, LL League news. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, talking points. Still teams playing, so we'll still do the videos every week. Four teams left in LL League football. One in each class. As we press on, six teams ousted on Friday in the first round. So we're down to an even four. So uh, I'll keep doing these until everybody's done, win or lose. <clears throat> Five talking points for the week, heading into week two of playoffs. Here we go. Number one, tip of the cap to Bruce Harbach, Lancaster Catholic coach. 100 career wins. Second, LL League coach to get 100 this season, John Mannion at LS. Went over 100, uh, hit 100 in week four in uh, the Pioneers win over Lebanon. Uh, coach Harbach joins that club. Harbach, Mannion, Terry Lehman at Anvil and Mike Williams at Mannheim Central all have 100 plus wins now active. Mike Williams has 318 after 31 seasons. That's the most in District 3. Barons lose a heartbreaker in overtime to Paul Myra. A lot of great games Friday. Um, I'm sort of on the fence with uh, eight teams, you know, instead of 16 because there were awesome first round games here. Um, I still think that's going to get the vote in December. I think they're going to cut it back to eight teams getting in, which will make a, the regular season interesting. But that was a heck of a first night. There were a couple of lopsided games, and that's going to happen. But a couple of triple overtime games, a couple of one-point games. Entertaining first night of district play. Um, but again, uh, congrats to Coach Harbach. 100 wins at Lancaster Catholic in his 10th season. Number two, Wilson Bulldogs. Moving on. Uh, was there Friday. Got to see that game. They beat Penn Manor. Uh, wow. Wilson's defense was good yet again. Held him to 113 yards. It didn't seem like it because Penn Manor did some things. They um, forced a three and out. Went down and scored. Got up 7 nothing. Scored 17 points. When the stats came out, Penn Manor had 113 yards. That's it. So I think they cashed in on a short field. But they didn't get much, so Wilson's defense, once again, gnarly. Uh, interview on the page here with Matt Rothrock. They're a very, very good defensive end. And um, I have a feature coming up on Wilson's defense in a couple days. Stay tuned for that. i got a lot going on. Next up for Wilson, Daniel Boone, all Berks County game. That should be fun. Number three, Matt Peter Strasburg moving on, Triple A. Uh, they rolled Northern New York. Polar Bears, 42-6. Jordan Groff, huge night. Four touchdowns. Scored a bunch of different ways. Pick six. Catch, run. So LS will move on, and they'll get Shippensburg in the quarterfinals in Lampeter. Trying to get back to the semifinals for the second year in a row. Stay on track. LS. Defense was great against Northern. I want to say they gave up like eight first downs total. Took care of Elijah Locke, held them to under 100, uh, under 100 rushing yards. So, good win for LS. They'll move on and get ship at home in round two. Number four. Thanks to Catholic. Wow. <laughs> 61 to 7 over Boiling Springs. Had a gut hunch that was going to be eh, a mercy rule game, and it was in the first half. Andrew Zurich, 6 for 6, 118 yards and three touchdowns, all to Titus, who had three catches, all for touchdowns, and a pick six. Catholic steamrolled uh, the bubblers big. And how about this little matchup here for uh, the semifinals? Lancaster Catholic will host Trinity, double A semi on Friday. Uh, got a blog there. Um, seems like I always miss this game for whatever reason because Catholic and Trinity play every season here in the opener usually and I've, I just haven't seen any of these so I'm not going to miss this one this is large uh, Catholic Trinity on Friday uh, check me live blog eh, 630 or so from Catholic uh, that's a whale of a game and the other double I uh, double a semifinal is 10 and 0 why I'm missing against 11 and 0 Bermudian Springs so <laughs> one of their seasons is going to end and the winner gets Trinity or Catholic in the final. So this double A bracket's Titanic. Great games here. Okay, number five. You remember Columbia? They're still playing. Uh, single A had a week off. They had a bye week to uh, jive with the schedules. So everybody played on the same dates. So Columbia's been, uh, they got two weeks uh, to get healthy, number one. They had some uh, nicks and scrapes. Uh, just kind of get 
everything in order there. Uh, they had some kids out, so we'll see how Columbia responds with an extra week of rest. They get a home game in the single-A semifinals against Millersburg. Uh, five and five team, uh, traditionally a good District 3 uh, team. Uh, Roy Wall, uh, Northern Lebanon's coach, used to coach there, and they've been in the finals, and it's a good program. So tricky game for Columbia, which is the two seed. And uh, they'll get their postseason started on Friday against the Indians. Okay, there's five uh, talking points. Um, I, I did I did want to add just one quick thing. Uh, John Armbrust uh, ended up with 29 touchdown passes uh, for Garden Spot. Connor Schlegel ended up with 19 touchdown catches. So he will not get the state record. Garden Spot, uh, Garden Spot bounced there in the first round by Conrad Weiser, which is now 4-0 against LL uh, league teams this season. Interesting. Uh, so spots out, great seasons for those guys. And um, Brennan Scott, the quarterback for Manheim Township, uh, just missed the, uh, and I had this note, uh, just missed the single game passing mark for Township. He had 391 yards in the loss to Southwestern. Pat Bostic had 392 yards against Wilson a couple years back uh, when he was guiding the streak. So a lot of fun stats and numbers this season. I hope to keep posting that stuff on the page, so take a look. I'll have a preview uh, breakdown video of these games coming up. Uh, full capsules coming up. Uh, should have the stats up here pretty soon. I think people forget that because their season's over, they don't have to send stats in anymore, so i got to chase a couple. Uh, so, you know, keep it on the page for all that stuff. And the live blog will be Trinity at Lancaster Catholic on Friday night. Can't wait for that. That should be fun. Okay, those are your five talking points and some bonus points. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Um, stay tuned for everything, and Wednesday night I'll get you a live chat preview. Sorry I missed that last week, but aiming for Wednesday night to uh, get that up uh, on the page. Okay, cool. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.